Hey wizard fans, Stephanie here on my balance wizard. You might know me as this girl dressed in a yellow and brown outfit that was back when I was actively doing PvP. These days, I mostly wear pink and black. Anyway, I was going to show you how to make a 69 large plot garden today, but then I realized that it actually has already been done by a really small channel. I learned about this video through word of mouth, it did not come up in searches, so I highly recommend you check it out if you are trying to make a 69 large plot garden. This video is way more helpful than any of the big name videos I have found, in my experience anyway. So today what I'm gonna do instead is give you a housing tour. Just like I did in my Headless Horseman video when I was waiting for a match. This is my old prickly bear cactus garden. I made it back before I had so many evil magma peas and also before I learned the 69 flat layout. The way you make this is you basically take any medium sized rug, attach it to a tatami mat, put it on top of crates and just like rotate it in a circle so you make all these rings of plots. Also the prop insect tablet you see over there is one of the plant lights but I made it into part of the decoration. Same with the pile of sand down here. I also try to always have a use for some of my failed pets. So this house contains mostly desert themed pets. Around this pole here, I put reptiles like the sea dragon. And these are just random spiders and beetles I got from farming. Over here is a soil glitch that I made because I really wanted to get up to the second floor. But you can't actually get onto that ledge as far as I know. So yeah, that's the outside of this house and now let's explore the inside. I think it's really cool that to go inside, you have to go down this tunnel. Just look at that, it's like we're in an underground world. That's the Statue of Judgment. Okay, so the way I decided to decorate this place was I made it into like a boarding school. This is the entrance hall and it contains tournament trophies because boarding schools usually like to show off like their accomplishments in their entrance hall. And then in the next room, we have the headmaster's office. So I made this headmaster using monstrology. As you can see, he's made from Jezerit Dweller Animus. So let me just show you where you can make house guests like this one. Oh, and double Animus is going on right now for members. Anyway, you learn the Extract Animus spell from Monstrologist Burke. And then you extract the animus of your favorite monsters and you get three buttons at the bottom and you pick the middle one to make a house guest. I did most of the animus collecting on my storm because it was easier, but yeah. Then in the next room, we have the exercise room. So the teacher and student you see here are actually decoration items that you get in Mirage after qualifying for certain badges. This teacher is from Willermel in Caravan, and the fox on my left, he is from Agrobah. So, since it's an exercise class, let's dance! Look at how graceful the teacher is! The student on my left is totally not following. Once morning exercises are done, we go to this fancy fountain to clean up. You can actually interact with this sink on the left. I believe it's from the balanced furniture pack, which you can buy for gold in the crown shop. And then for the soap dispenser, I put this Hydra pet. He totally looks like a soap dispenser. After washing up, we go and eat breakfast. The cook in this school is a genie from Mirage. He looks very proud of the meal that he prepared for the students. After eating breakfast, it's time for lessons. There's a map on the wall here for geography class. 
The class that's going on right now though is a foreign language class and the teacher is going through some basic readings. This teacher is a house Persian assailant also from Mirage and he's actually carrying a sword but I positioned him in such a way that his sword looks more like one of those sticks you use to point at the blackboard. Finally, after a day of activities, it's time for bed. So this is the dormitory. Each student has their own mattress and their treasure chest where they can keep their belongings. And they also have a toy. And that's the end of my housing tour! I hope you enjoyed this video. This is basically the kind of stuff I do when I'm in introvert mode. Leave a like and I will see you in the next video.